My mom called me a witch with a B. Hey, what's going on guys? Sandy here and welcome back to some more Crundy Craft. This is episode eight and when we left off, if you remember, uh, we, we trolled Craner with, <laughs> with the giant pig. <laughs> and look at this, look at the castle. Well, lack thereof of a castle. L look at this. There's redstone sitting over here. There's uh, half of a meat pole sitting over here. I'm guessing the pig destroyed everything. But look at all these uh, wood blocks. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. And uh, this episode, dudes, of course, I have something planned. What I want to do, I'm running low on materials. Uh, I don't have many diamonds. I don't, I have a little bit of iron left over, which I need to smelt this now. So I have some things... I need to start gaining some materials for this episode, so let's do this. Wait, what? What the heck is this? <laughs> really, Craner? I'm over here trying to set stuff up. S <sighs> he put autonomous activators here with uh, alumite rapier. So it pretty much one shot me. Uh, is my stuff down here? And he put quicksand down here so I couldn't get out. Okay, there's my gravestone. Well, there we go. We got our stuff back. <laughs> well, Craner got us back. Well played, sir. <laughs> well freaking played. I, I wasn't even expecting that. I'm sitting over here uh, is setting up this episode's video. <sighs> well played, Craner. Well, I did have a plan for today. Now I have to think of another plan. Give me a minute. Okay. <laughs> This is gonna be beautiful. Once we're done with this troll, Craner's gonna think twice about ever messing with us again. Uh, and this, what I'm setting up, isn't just a troll, it's also gonna help us a crap ton. So, yeah, it's a dual purpose. Uh, okay, so, I wrote everything down that I need. I need, I need an oven, I need a fume funnel, I need a cauldron, I need paste, I need a distillery, I need mutandus, I need altars, I need a bunch of chalk. Uh, okay, so we need a bunch of iron. I'll, yeah, I cook. I just cooked a bunch of iron. Uh, let me make this oven real quick, and I need to make uh, fume funnels. Okay, so there we go. We have uh, both of the fume funnels and the witch's oven. Uh, okay, so where do we? Uh, I guess we could just throw this eh, right here. <laughs> there we go, because that's the witch's oven. Then let's throw the funnels. Ne Look at this. Now what I need to do is I need uh, I need to make a cauldron and some paste. All right, so there we go. We have the cauldron. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to run around the world. <laughs> we need to go punch and uh, grasp. <laughs> oh, good lord. There we go. We need uh, what we need to make. We need to make this blue looking gum, spit out chewed gum paste. Uh, <laughs> we need a bunch or uh, four different types of uh, seeds. Okay, so. Uh, okay, there's one of. Is that two of them? Uh, mandrake seeds and snowball seeds. Okay, so we have two so far. Uh, d d dude, wait, listen. I, I know you're kind of ugly and all, but you don't really want to swim in diarrhea. Kind of gross. Freaking vein miner is so OP. Look at this. Watch this. I'm going to hold shift and watch this. <laughs> Look at that. Vein miner. It's a little broken. Okay, do we have enough for the pace now? Let's see. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, we have, uh, all we need is one pace for now. Okay, let's go back to the cauldron. All right, so there we go. We're back at the cauldron. Now, check this out. Our first, uh, witchery ritual, we have to, we have to smother this chewed up gum all over the cauldron. And watch this. L look at this. <laughs> I don't know how chewed up gum turns a cauldron into a witch's cauldron, but y you know what? I I'll take it. Uh, okay, so what we need to do now is we need netherrack, which I believe... 
We should have some from when we went to the nether. Oh, check it out. My hatchet just leveled up. I got- I have luck on my hatchet now. <laughs> okay, cool. So, I'm just getting a bunch of oak saplings for, uh, it, it, witchery stuff. I- I'm trying to do rituals. <laughs> Remember this. 11 eggs. I need at least one baby chicken. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, homie, you, you stay strong. G give me eggs. <laughs> okay, so, uh, what I need to do now is let's find- I need to find a spot, I guess. Okay, so here we go. We have the, uh, nether rack there. And then let's throw the cauldron above there. And there we go. <laughs> We're becoming a witch. Uh, okay, so now what I need to do is I need to make a, uh, an infinite water source. Oh, look at there. I just leveled up my, uh, shovel. <laughs> We're leveling up everything. This is nice. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm setting up a farm because I need to get mandrake roots, which uh, if you dudes know what that is, that, they freaking suck. Hold on. Let me set up this farm. Okay, here we go. Mandrakes. We have our mandrake seeds. Let's plant these things. I freaking hate mandrakes. <laughs> they terrify the crap out of me. Okay, let me get some bone meal. Let's grow these little jerks. All right, there we go, all grown. <laughs> these things suck. Okay, you ready? Go! <laughs> Get away, you freak! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh, I hate those things with a passion. Oh, wait, come here. Where's the last one? Look at this. <laughs> They're so terrifying. I hate those things. Okay, well, at least we have the mandrake root. This is what we needed. Okay, so what we need to do is grab the water and fill up this cauldron. Oh, this is so sick. There we go. Okay, so the cauldron is full. Now we need to throw in uh, all three of these ingredients right here. The uh, exhale. There we go. Look at that. The egg. Uh, e egg. E egg. Oh, egg, go in there. <laughs> Please. And the mandrake root? Okay, and mandrake root, and now the egg. There it is! Okay, now it should start brew- look at that! We're a witch now! <laughs> look at us! Uh, oh, there we go! And there it is! We just got six mutandus out of this. Yeah, okay, here we go. What we need to do is we need to use this mutandus on this oak sapling, and we need to turn it into a rowan sapling. Okay, so let's click it. Uh, a mushroom. Oh, I need a rowan sapling! Uh, hawthorn sapling. No? Uh, jungle? No? Alright, lily pad. Come on, uh, a Spanish moss. I have one more mutandus. Uh, spruce. Uh, okay, well, let's go back here. Let's do this again. Once again, let's do this. Uh, there we go. Rowan sapling. Okay, so let's, uh, let's grow this thing. There we go. And then let's cut this down. Uh, okay, there we go. So we have a bunch of rowan saplings now. What I'm gonna do... Oh, we have two rowan saplings. I'm gonna plant a crap ton of these. Let me get a crap ton of rowan saplings. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we have 12 rowan saplings. Let's throw these in the witch's oven. And I left a tree back there. A rowan tree just for later. Uh, <laughs> once we're done with this, Crater is gonna hate his life. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we have a whiff of magic. Uh, a whiff of a fart. <laughs> okay, so let's go in the crafting table. Whiff of magic. Diamond. Uh, with lava. And there we go. We have an attuned stone. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a distillery. Okay, so, uh, let's... Let's throw this down, I guess. Actually, you know what, guys? I have the distillery. What I need to do now is I need to make an altar. Uh, I need to power this distillery. Uh, to get the altar, I need... Uh, yeah, I have all the stone bricks. I need birch saplings. Hold on. Let, let me set all this up. This crap's got to be boring. Uh, it will be witches by the end of this. <laughs> Give me a minute. All right, so there we go. We have 12 altars. Let's throw uh, six down right there. Okay, let's see. When we right click this, okay, so you see uh, 672 times 1. That's how much power we have in this altar right now, and it's powering up slowly. And this is going to power the distillery so we can create different items. 
Yeah, so look at this. The distillery is combining uh, foul fume and, and quick lime, and it should give us a white coal looking stuff. It, it, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. There's the, uh, it's called gy gypsum. <laughs> Whatever the crap this is. So we need two of these so that that should be good. Okay. Yeah, there we go We have two gypsum and now I'm combining breath of the goddess and, and lapis and it should give us uh, a, a different bottle. Yeah, yeah, there it is tear of the goddess Okay, so we need this. Yeah, there it is. We combine all of this and we get two ritual chalks <laughs> Oh gosh, I told you we were gonna be doing rituals. <laughs> Just trust me. We need to actually make uh, two different color ritual chalks. Okay, so here we go. Check this out. What we're gonna do is over the cauldron, we're gonna throw in a mandrake root. There we go. Throw in a gold nugget. There we go. And then a ritual chalk. There we go. Now this is gonna... Uh, is it? Is it gonna start to brew? It, Please don't disappoint me in front of my friends. <laughs> okay, so I get it. In order for this to work, I'm gonna have to get the cauldron. I'm gonna have to, uh, this altar back here has 606 power. I need to get that up to 2800 power. Uh, and to do so, I can put a wither skeleton skull on top of this. Okay, let's throw this here. Uh, there, okay, so 1800 power. <laughs> Dang, that's, that's pretty high. Okay, so we need 2,000 more. Let me figure out how to do this. Okay, and we all, if we also throw on this chalice over here, uh, so we have 1,800 power. If we throw this here, uh, 24. We're almost there. We need 400 more power, and then we'll get gold chalk. Once we get gold chalk, we can start our rituals. Oh, <laughs> Craner. Don't ever kill us again. Okay, so the forums say to get more power into the altar, you just gotta put plant- Oh, look at that! That increased the power, you just put plants near the actual altar and it'll draw power. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I'm stuck in there. Uh, th oh, 3100! Is it gonna work? Are we gonna get our gold chalk now? Oh, that is awesome! Oh, there it goes! Are we gonna get our chalk? It's starting to br Yes! Okay, so we just used all of the power and now we have gold chalk. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so here we go. Now we have this witchcraft circle of magic book. This is where the rituals start to come in. Okay, so let's open this uh, and all of these different uh, rituals do different effects. Hold on, let me find a good one for Craner. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is gonna be perfect. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to draw uh, the inside circle like this. This is where our ritual is gonna take place, right there. Okay, and then we have to uh, go two out and then draw an outside layer like this. And then around it like this. Oh, hold on, I messed up like this. And then like, there we go. Okay, then we're gonna have to delete this. Okay, so here's our circle of ritual. Now check this out. Whenever we take a wooden sword, throw it there, and one wood ash and throw it there. And then right click it, right click the golden chalk circle. Watch this. Look at this. Look at this! Oh no! No, no! Set it on fire! Don't- <laughs> There's one ritual right there! Why- oh, stop setting my base on fire! Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this ritual over at Craner's base and dudes, this is just a tier one ritual. There's a crap ton more rituals we're gonna do on Craner. Let me set this up. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> This is beautiful. So Crane is gonna walk up to his house. He's gonna see sorry about the pig Click here if you accept my apology Hopefully Crater accepts my apology. He's gonna click the button uh, And it's gonna send a redstone signal over here to a command block which tells him something not very nice And it's gonna send the the redstone signal all the way up to here to the back of his house 
to the best part. Check this out. It's going to send the redstone signal right here to this autonomous activator, which is going to right click this golden chalk, which is going to set off this ritual, which is going to strike his entire house with lightning, burning it to the ground. <laughs> Crater, don't kill me again. If you troll me again, homie, I will pull, I will bring out my ritual book again and we will find something even more devastating. <laughs> Let the rituals reign king. Anyways, dudes, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And of course, if you have, be sure to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. And also hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And uh, yes, dudes, Craner's not going to like this too much. Don't tell him a thing. <laughs> Hopefully he clicks that button. Anyways, I'll talk to you dudes next time.